once again to Jack's Tech Corner. My name is Jack, and I'm here to guide you through this beautiful program called Photoshop Elements. You know, I was sitting here creating lessons for the new Photoshop Elements 15 course at jtclearning.com. That's jtclearning.com. And I thought, I'm going to share this with everybody because it's such a great effect, and it's a lot of fun. And it's one of those effects that probably a lot of you out there don't use because you probably don't go into the guided or the quick edits a whole lot, right? Everything you want to do is in the expert mode. You want to do this and that with your photograph. But this is a lot of fun and it's very easy to do. So let's go ahead and get started. We are going to use this photograph of this bird over here and we're going to show you the zoom burst effect. It can be found under the guided, fun edits, zoom burst effect. So if we click on that, here is the picture of a seagull I took recently flying across the lake here well, across the edge of the beach or the uh, lake area. The first thing we're going to do is crop out the photograph. And the reason is you want to get the, the bird or the subject as centered as possible. So we click on the crop tool here, and we're just going to grab these little pull-down bars with our mouse, left-click and drag. And we're going to talk a little bit when we're doing this about the rule of thirds. Now, if you've been a photographer for any time or any length, or if you watched any of my web shows, you know that I talk a lot about the rule of thirds. The rule of thirds is just a very easy way that we can take our photograph and put our subject matter in a certain portion of the photo. If you have grids on your camera, I suggest you turn those grids on. I always have my grids on my camera because it gives me an easy way to place the subject where I want it. Now for this effect to work, it says to place, you know, to crop it, and you want your primary subject in the center. So the rule of thirds is showing us three rows of three, a total of nine squares. Three up and down, three horizontal, three vertical. So if I place my subject I want in the center, I know that is the center of the overall photo. That's the power of the rule of thirds. So let's go ahead and click the checkbox, and we can see we crop that out. And we're going to let that crop here. There we go. So we got that cropped out. The next thing we're going to do is add the zoom burst effect. It says click to add the zoom burst button to apply the effect of your image. You can press it multiple times to increase the effect. So let's press on zoom burst. And what it's going to do, it's actually looking at that center of that picture, and that is where it's going to burst out from. You see what I'm saying? So it looked for the center. Since we had this bird in the center of our photograph, it bursted from the center. So whatever subject you have, make sure it is centered. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some focus. So to add some focus, it's very easy. We click on the Add Focus button, and we just draw a line over our subject to bring back in focus what we want to see outside that zoom burst. There you go. And I'm going to go front to back. I'm sorry, back to front. You can bring out his head a little bit more so you can focus as much as you want. Let's focus more on this wing. This wing more in focus. Uh, looks pretty good. Okay, I'm pretty excited about that. And you can see this overall photograph now is Absolutely. To me, this is a stunning photo. This is something you're going to hang. And I always tell you about conversation pieces. This is a conversation piece. Somebody's going to say, how did you shoot that? And say, you know, I have a special lens. Uh, I have a special uh, flash that I use that flashes that, that zoom effect. They, they'll never figure it out. But you know it's all about editing. The next thing we can do is add our vignette. We can add a little bit of vignette to that. And there's our vignette effect. And you can click this as many times as you want and add more vignette around the edges if you wish to do so. Now, a lot of people have told me in the past, you know, Jack, you you do great at editing. It's it's wonderful. We learn a lot. But, but you never show us what's the next step. Well, the next step is to hit the next button. And you can share this right away on Facebook, Flickr, Twitter, or the Smug Mug Galleries. Or you can open up a quick edit or in the expert mode. Or you can just save it the way it is or do a save as. If you don't want to ruin the original image that you're working with, do a save as and just give it a different name. Now, folks, as I said, I've been working on these new videos for this great new course, Photoshop Elements 15. And you can find it at jtclearning.com. That's jtclearning.com, where you'll find videos such as this 
and all of the uh, quick edit, the guided edit tools, and we're putting the expert mode tools in there. So you're going to know how to use Photoshop Elements. Again, check it out. Right now, it's a very low price of only $30. That's an introductory price because I'm still building the course. So I wanted to share this with you. I hope you do this. And if you're not a member of our Facebook group, you can join the Facebook group at Jack's Tech Corner. That's the name of the Facebook group. And post your work over there and let us see what you're doing with the Zoom Burst Effect. All right, folks, thanks so much for watching Jack's Tech Corner. And I'll see you back on the next training video. Bye for now.